You guys, happy Thursday. Welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Today, we had to put our order in yesterday to reserve it for today. We're so excited. Millie's Pizza in the Pan. Stay tuned for that. That's right, guys. Well, we want to do a merch shout out today for someone who's been supporting us by buying a little bit of her merch, Miss Renee uh, Lepke. Ooh, okay. Um, she got a uh, framed autograph shirt that we put on sale uh, a couple months back, which is awesome. I mean, who, you know, she just went and dropped 150 bucks to have a piece of art with yeah. our autograph, hopefully hanging front and center in her living room. I hope that's the first thing people see when me they walk too. in. Me too. Thank you for buying that. If anybody else wants to buy anything of ours, we got a ton of merch all the time. New stuff coming out. Number six with cheese.com. Go check it out. All right, Millie's, we're coming for you. Right, guys very excited one Millie's pizza in the pan it's currently in a box acquired jump cut oh, man I've been this excited for a pizza in a minute big moment an unboxing Corey Wagner second angle okay so we've got the ricotta cheese dolloped up on there some jalapeno peppers brown sugar bacon fresh oregano and pepidou peppers this thing is wild the and like look wild. at the look at this crust. That's what I'm trying to show you guys. Like it's kind of the caramelization of like a Detroit style or like a Chicago style. But and it's I would, just yeah, I would go as far as saying it. That is. Yeah. It's just this thing is like just wild looking. I'm like genuinely a little intimidated by this thing. Yeah. For the car, I think. It's <laughs> pretty intimidating for a car move. It's so weird. It's like a hybrid Detroit style with a deep dish. Did Chicago. Yeah. This is just a work of art. All right, Millie's. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. So much cheese. Mmm. Oh my god. This is good. Oh, that sauce is wow. It's it tastes like a homemade sauce. This is exactly why I love Polly G's. It's got that real like thick sauce. Sauce on top. Like a Detroit move. Mm-hmm. The ricotta dollop, refreshing. The crust is really good. Mm-hmm. Very cheesy. So cheesy. I'm like genuinely so blown away by this build. And we were looking at the ingredients yesterday to build our own pizza because this is kind of a Corey and Sean build. The range of stuff they had on there was pretty wild too. Yeah, and like high end stuff too. Like I like, yeah. like pepperdew peppers. Pepperdew, like that's not a thing you can I get. Yeah, I would not have imagined. Uh uh. Oh, that was my first pepperdew pepper bite. Oh, go. Yeah. That's a damn good pepper. This is such a good pizza. So today we're filming this. They're only open four to nine. And every time we've looked at it, You've got to reserve a slot on like talk, right? To like buy one. Yeah, they sell they the day sell before. Out. Yeah, so like you got to jump on it. And they're closed Mondays and Tuesdays, so you got to get it Wednesday through Sunday. They are also right next to what looks to be a health hazard waiting to happen. What's that? <laughs> Don Pablo's kitchen and barber shop. <laughs> not sure. I, I want didn't all those. see that. Oh, you're right. I'm not sure. I want all those. Loose roaming hairs in my empanadas. <laughs> yeah, right wow, I did not notice that. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah, that's a weird one two punch. Uh, yeah, now I know I want to cut hair, but what else mm. could I do? I got a little more space. This is also in one of my favorite little strips in the city. This is an uptown, and then it, what is this neighborhood? Is this like it's like little Vietnam? Little Vietnam, mm -hmm. it's cool, it's very vibrant and colorful. And they yeah. got this like brick road. I don't know, it's just an awesome, like one of my favorite parts of the area. I think our friend, did Bobby used to live around uh -huh. this area? Bobby, our good friend, in the highest viewed number six for cheese video, used to live That's here. That's right. I think the harder part is sitting so close to you guys. No. No, eating is hard. I like being <clears throat> close to you. Mm. That crust is so great. It's that, yeah, like you said, Detroit style or some of the like um, caramelized places that, it, like there's Chicago place that caramelized their crust, Labriola and Pe yep. Pequod's. It's caramelized crust is delicious. These places that like basically make their own style of pizza, whether intentional or accidental, I'm so drawn to. And the fact that he delivered on taste and build mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, you can be fun and just create something new. If it, and if it's not practical or it's not that good, who cares? Right. This is truly worth, I think, the money. Because what was this, like 35? Uh, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get it cheaper. We went a little overboard with the ingredients. Yeah, because every time you add them a la carte, it's going to, mm -hmm. of course, jump up. And they have an option on their uh, pizza building software. Mm -hmm. You think they developed their own software? Probably not. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> their little pizza building thing, you can pick half pizzas for ingredients. So say, you know, mm. me and you are getting a pizza, I want bacon, 
you want pepperoni, we can get half bacon, half pepperoni. I, love it. I like that it's just built in there. You don't have to like special requests and stuff. I've started to get angry at places that like don't let you do that. <laughs> yeah. Because so many places have made it easy, even local places. This is, I think, the best sauce I've had on a, in a pizza in Chicago. The sauce is ridiculous. I think the sauce is the stealing the show. The crispiness and the cheesiness of the pizza itself is probably two. And then just the plethora of topping options is three. Those are my three favorite things about this. Man, that is fun. I am freaking stuffed. That is a very filling slice of pizza. How many places do you see that does the cut of jalapeno like that? Yeah, right? Where it's the big, chunky, kind of like slice cut, like, I like diagonal, it. I kind of like it. I think it's aesthetically beautiful Me and too. it also tastes delicious. Me too. I am blown away. I just think this is, this should be the Chicago style pizza. This is, yeah, just one step back from that deep dish, guy. Mm -hmm. Just one, little, one step back. One notch down. Um, all right, well, before we get swept away in this monsoon that's currently happening, guys, don't forget to like this video. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. New videos Monday through Thursday and then bonus ones on Friday. What should the style of pizza be where you're from? What should be like, for example, Detroit style pizza, perfect. Toledo style pizza, perfect. Chicago should be tweaked a little bit. We'll chat about that today. When we went to Gold Belly uh, recently, uh, goldbelly.com, the amount of like different styles of pizzas in it's the country, so I didn't cool. even realize. No, right? It's nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. They had Minnesota style on there. Yeah, uh, no. Comment that and then now let's rate this bad boy. Uh, out of five, we talked about St. Millie. How about, how about out of five halos? Yeah. How many halos do you give the, the pizza we built here today, the Millie's Pizza in the Pan, Corey? Um, this is amazing. Th that is my favorite sauce I've had on a pizza. It's mm. really, really good. The ingredients are all top notch. That's pretty amazing. The crust is perfect. And it's just all around one of the best pizzas I've ever had in my life. I mean, that's a five. That's mm. unbelievable, guys. I'll this is down. a must get pizza. I'll put down my crust for that class. Yeah. yeah. My expectations going into this were so high. Mm -hmm. And this is a expensive pizza in the terms of like, if you're used to getting Domino's, this is going to make you faint. But worth the price, somehow came in above my expectations. The best sauce I have had in Chicago on a pizza. The crispiness and the cheesiness reminded me of Detroit. And then the peppers and all the crazy, the ricotta dollops. Dude, I got to do it because it is a five out of five. That's five halos. I think this is now. You know people are like, what's your favorite spot? Uh -huh. I think sometimes I don't have a favorite spot because there's like a few spots that I think are perfect that they're all equally perfect. Yeah. This is up there. I agree. Vito and Nick's, La Briola, Pauly G's, Millie's Pizza in the Pan. I think those are my perfect pizzas. Mm -hmm. They're all unbelievable. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah. I might put Fat Chris's on that list. I put Pauly G's above Fat Chris's. Yeah, Detroit style is going to win that category. Yeah, I think it's a little bit, I think it's a, just a, a touch, just yeah. a skosh, a skosh better. Yeah, absolutely. Just, and it's only because of the ingredients, like like this ricotta dollop and stuff. Pauly G does that like type of ricotta dollop and stuff on a Detroit style. That's the only reason. And there's more places to try. Professor Pizza is another one that I keep hearing about. Yeah, we got to do that. And uh, Toasty Sosies or Tostosies. <laughs> Kylie yeah. keeps showing me pictures. I don't know that. that I keep getting rock hard. So... <laughs> Man, it's amazing what food does to you. Yeah. Erectually. Yeah, yeah, I get stimulated. <laughs> Guys, uh, we'll see you tomorrow uh, for a brand new video. If you have the Patreon subscription, this is a Thursday video, so you will see us tomorrow morning. If not, sign up, you'll get a bonus video. And uh, Millie's, dude, you killed it. If anybody is looking for a revolutionary pizza in this city, I think you gotta reserve a slot. Yeah, this get is it. amazing. And take our word for it, dude, it's that good, truly. <laughs> Sun's coming out, <laughs> kind of. Uh, see you very soon. I am so full it hurts. I'm stuffed. I look like a ricotta ball. Goodbye. <sighs>